Hello guys, uh, first off I'd like to say sorry, you're gonna hear the clicking, you're gonna hear my fan, you're gonna hear background noise, I don't have a great mic, but uh, I'd like to also apologize um, for everyone on Discord, there is a lot of people on my Discord, it got kind of flooded and I kind of just fell behind on it and I just could not catch up, and I apologize if I didn't get to or respond to you, there's a lot of people and you know everything happening, a lot of crazy stuff's going on, and uh, I got work, school has been pretty big right now. Um, so, yeah, uh, but I'm going to be taking you through the process. But first, I want to say, I'll, I'll, if I remember to leave a invite, I'm going to leave this in the description. Join. This is the Hoi4 Modding Den. This is the most probably active modding Discord you can find. And any error you want is on here. If you need to search on how to make a map or if you have an error, I guarantee it's been on here. Um, seriously, you can search for anything. There is every type of thing here. Uh, if you want to find teams, frequent errors, common help, learning help, errors, mapping help. I mean, everyone's making maps right now. Look at this. I don't even know what this is, but that's cool. That, that looks really cool. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it, uh, real quick. So there's going to be two things you'll need. First of all is map gen. You're not going to get anywhere with map gen. Uh, you're just going to search up map gen Hoi 4. It's the first one. It's a Reddit link. Yes. Uh, scroll down the entire discussion and you'll see this download link right here. All you got to do is copy this and paste it into new tab. Click here. Click on it. Double click it. Click this little download icon and download it. Then extract it and go on from there. Hopefully you know how to download a .zip file. Uh, next thing. You're going to need Sublime Text. Uh, just look up Sublime Text and go into Download. I would recommend getting Windows version, uh, or you can use Notepad Plus, some sort of editor for editing advanced notes and stuff and files. I recommend Sublime, it's really good. And that's all you need for now. Um, so when you go ahead and open up MapGen here, uh, MapGen EXE, you'll be greeted with this big front page. And you have multiple tabs here, and we're gonna go through every single one. Uh, decently quick here. So when you download MapGen, you'll have an example file generate with it. Now, we're going to be using the example files today. You can always edit these, you know, and make them your own, but we're going to use the base ones for now. So drag land map in, and this should be the first one. If you're going to edit this file, make sure it's the exact size that this file is. Remember, purple is land, green is for lakes, black is for water, and you have to use the exact RGB color that they use here or else it will not work you have some options down here but none of them are really important so you can head into terrain input you can do a uh, planes world here if you want but i they give us one so why not do the this one i think um this is like desert i think this is hills mountains forest jungle oranges plains something along those lines not entirely sure Boundary input. I never use this. I, it just seems to create like lines on the map when you uh, play your mod. Um, but they give us one, so let's use it. And then uh, also, I skipped province size input. Sorry. Um, they give us one here. So, simple thing here. If it's black, the darker it is, the more provinces there's going to be and the smaller they're going to be. The whiter and lighter it is, the bigger the provinces and the less provinces. Uh, you can edit the size of each province here, the minimum and maximum. And then when you do that, you can click generate. And you can also select here provinces don't cross rivers, but we don't have rivers right now, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and you can see down here where it was black, there's small ones, and over here it's bigger. Next is state. I recommend the biggest state size, the least amount of variation, just because you're gonna have to edit the states later on, but that's up to you. Uh, just keep in mind, like it says here, can generate thousands of files if you make them really small. So be careful with that. Next is height map. Just click generate. Simple as that. You can edit uh, whatever you want here. You can tweak them. You have a bunch of settings. Uh, usually, when I'm making my own mod, I personally like to just generate a flat height map and then just tweak it later on, but it's up to you. World normal, you don't even have to touch it really ever. Color map, you do have to... Oh, no, so, I think you have to generate this one, but I don't remember if they give you this or not. But you can just generate it. 
and uh, save that to file. You're going to need that for later. You can go to river map. Do not do 150. You'll probably crash your game. Let's do like 40. Generate. You don't have to do rivers, by the way. This is completely optional. Uh, there you go. You see we have rivers here and there. Uh, next is export, export to game. Name your mod. Mod. And you'll need color map file path. What? Well, go online, and I recommend heading over to Convertio and select BMP to DDS. You just click it here. You search BMP. Click it to DDS. Then all you're going to do is drag your color map that you saved in and convert it to a DDS file. It may take a second. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice. How's everyone doing? Uh, then you're going to download it. And then you'll get your file. And you simply... I already installed like 50 of these. And then you export the game. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot terrain map. You just generate that. Might be. There you go. Now you have terrain map. Simple as that. Export to game. Everything should be good. And your mod has been installed. There you go. Look at it. Beautiful. We can't play it though yet, but we can do some other things. So head over to here to see your mod. Documents, Paradox, Hearts of Iron, Mod, Mod, and your mod.mod. You need your mod.mod file. This is important. So you gotta change the supported version. We are on 1.10 as we speak. And you can do individual patches like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, or you can do Shift 8, and that just covers all patches of this version. Easy. Now I'm going to use my little cheat sheet here. Uh, you're going to need replace paths. You don't need every single one of these. I just, I'm just going to copy all of them. But you're going to need most of these. These basically make it so every single one that you do, so like common slash ideas. I'm not, it's, it's really hard to explain, but basically it'll use your mod files over the base game files. And if you don't have a replace path, it uses the base game files over your mod files, I believe, if I'm explaining that right. Basically, you need them. Uh, I'll leave this in the description so you can copy and paste it. But yeah, then you're done with these two files. Next comes the last part, and then we can launch your mod. Alrighty. So go into your mod. Uh, quickly go into common, national focus. Make sure you have a generic .txt. Um, sometimes it doesn't generate with it. If you don't have it, um, just copy it over from the base game files. It'll be in the same spot. Last thing, head into map, open definition.csv, and open strategic regions, the first one. Delete one through 46 here, you don't need those. And then scroll down to the bottom of definition CSV. Copy this number, it definitely will not be the same as mine, but it should be the last number here on the first line, or the first number on the last line. And you're gonna head over to Text Mechanic is my favorite, or if you have any other website to generate this many numbers, one through 20,000, uh, then Control A, Control C, and head back in here, Control V. Make sure they're inside the brackets of provinces. Uh, if you have sublime text, you can actually like minimize these, which is pretty cool. Do stuff, but uh, yeah, then you're done. Um, then head it over and we're ready to launch our mod. Go into properties here. Make sure you're, you're in dash debug here in your launch options. Be uh, helpful to view your mod. Otherwise, you really can't view your mod. And uh, I love this new launcher paradox. It's uh, really fun. Head on to mods. Um, play sets here. Add more mods. And it's not there. Might be already in. Ah, it is already in. Awesome. For you, you might have to click add more mods and it might be in here. But um, yeah, then you're good to launch. I'm not joking. You are all set. Uh, you remember, we replaced path the uh, loading screen, so they're going to look like this for some reason. Looks like some sort of alien language. Now, keep in mind, you are going to get errors. You will always, always have errors. Oh, I actually put the wrong supported version. I am sorry, I'm not sure what version we're on. Um, 
you're going to have all of these errors. You're going to have hundreds and thousands, and you're always going to have errors. There will be never a time where you don't have errors. And if you don't know what an error means, I don't know what this is. How do I fix it? Guys, remember, how do I fix this error and paste it there? And they will help you. Everyone will help you. Um, you're going to have to fix so many errors. And just keep in mind that you, you know, a lot of these are really hard to fix some of them. And modding is not easy. But I can get you to this part, which is having your map in game. Um, you can see we have desert, we have terrain, we have states. You can see I can select my states. We have provinces. Uh, we have, you know, what do you call them? Naval tiles. Uh, now you can start adding things. I mean, we have, you can see terrain here. Oh, or my crash. Yep. Sometimes that happens. The nudger is very unstable. But seriously, guys, that's it. Um, you did it. You made a map mod. Uh, as long as you followed every step I did and didn't skip a single one, you did it in under 11 minutes, which I talked for about two or three minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, now you can create your mod and go on forth. I can't stress, though, the Discord enough. Um, there's usually always people on it. Um, it's decently active. I mean, any question you have has probably been answered here. I mean, you can see people messing around here. What is he doing? You know, just, uh, I mean, seriously, if you have any issue, you can paste it here. Everyone's really friendly. Everyone's really nice. Um, and you have, yeah, whatever, whatever these chats are. But <laughs> yeah, um, there's ideas, there's lore and research. Um, there's even like team teasers. Uh, you can find teams here, like modding teams, if you want to. Uh, this is actually a great idea. I, I can't recommend this enough. If you want to get into modding, head over to a modding team. Some people will actually be willing to pay you if you're a good modder. I've never personally done it. But if you're seriously wanting to learn, go to a map, a map mod like this and learn. Uh, this is a mod set in 1453. That's cool. Um, you'll probably be doing focus trees, ideas, um, uh, editing the research tree. That's all great stuff to learn, and I seriously think this is one of the best ways to um, to learn um, how to mod. Um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say today. Um, your mods here. You have to fix a lot of these errors. Um, I think I have a video on how to create a state and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, uh, yeah, now you can go around and you can edit your mod. You can edit the height map, the province map. You can go into history, and I'm just rambling on. But that's really all I have to uh, give to you guys today. Again, if you have an issue, contact me. Can't promise a response. There was a lot of people. There was a lot of people. Um, I think I already have one right now. But um, I won't show that. Um, but seriously, guys, that's it. Um... Take care.